In our last video, we went over some of the levels and just talking about the skills required by different type of levels. So let's move on to the next one. And this is the most important one that a lot of people get confused. And this is called the descriptions and the job descriptions, the job titles that you will see uh, basically outside on Indeed.com or anywhere. And that basically confuses the hell out of people. And when you're so new to technology, even these titles makes a big impact because people don't explain this stuff. So some sometime a person will come over here and they'll see a user support specialist. Now, and when you look at the descriptions, they may not have a lot in that. It's just basic stuff like Active Directory, this and this and that. So that specialist doesn't mean anything. But for a new person, it's very confusing because they may think, oh, do I really need to be some sort of IT specialist? And this may be a very high end position. And then when they look at the salary, OK, that doesn't make any sense. Why does it why is it so low when it's specialist? And the, is there are differences? So this is where I will go back and uh, basically uh, kind of uh, remind you again that job titles are made up, made up by people and these people whoever we are we don't follow any rules we just call you some type of support and whatever they feel like it's going to make more sense to their company and so the first thing you should understand that the titles are meaningless when it comes to uh, spe spe uh, specifically the support positions that i'm talking about now of course you also need to know that titles does make sense when it comes to a different career in it for example if i say that entry-level systems administrator now that doesn't mean this is a support position. This is basically people are saying that you need to be an entry level inside the systems administration uh, kind of skills. That's a different area in IT. So if someone say entry level security analyst, that doesn't mean that they're saying that you are you can just come in and you can get a get that job right away with no experience. Which most likely that's not how it's done. But like I said, in IT, anything can happen when you know people and stuff like that. But coming back, the job title, as you can see over here, your quiz section will be, will you apply to this position? Now, you as a brand new person, I'm sure you're not going to apply to this position if you're so new that you don't have an education done. If you did that first option, remember in the first video, if you said that I didn't know this information and now I'm finding it out, then of course you're not going to be able to say yes to this question but if you are one of those type of people that went to college did a plus and uh, you know um, did degree or maybe even if you have done your self labs like virtual box labs whatever you have done can you look at this description and understand the kind of like the skills requirement from this description so if you look at this description it says this excellent entry-level opportunity available for detail-oriented detail-oriented individual to support our organizations computer users and our engineering department this is a unique position in which you will be spending approximately half of your time troubleshooting basic technology they're even you see how they're putting everything basic 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 entry level and so when you come to a requirement you see they don't have too much requirement must have at least two years of working work experience and and or an associate or completion of coursework at the relevant technical school you see this is a person who have built this description they kind of know what they're talking about even though they put two years of experience to attract other people who may be looking for a job even as an it professional they may have lost their jobs or something like that so they're they're not kind of uh, you know they're very smart people they don't want to limit their candidates as well because if a person with a lot of experience look at this and they say the course for technical stuff like that they may lose that person too you know just like you were going to lose the opportunity by now applying they may lose people so you see how they are kind of like smartly putting two years but at the same time they're saying look if you got a degree if you got some type of relevant course any technical course so this is where we come jobscreen or we talk about all about these skills all about these ticketing system active directory office 365 virtualization courses all of this stuff are technical stuff and like i said people really don't care when it comes to something like this kind of job they're gonna they're gonna want you to go and join them but but they're not asking you too much in this position they're just saying do you know the communication look at this must have strong communication skill isn't this the one that we 
picked before our second video that we wanted to do a customer service this is exactly where it is must be detail oriented taking notes organize prioritize their stuff must have own support blah 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 and all that kind of stuff is there very basic stuff and on the bottom they says taking initial telephone or email inquiries so you probably need to know okay how does email or phone inquiries come what kind of systems do we use so if you knew these systems like let's say you look at this information right now it says taking initial telephone or email inquiries now as a experienced person automatically this person will say oh they're using some type of ticketing system so when you go to the interview and you say they say hey how do you manage emails and telephone stuff do you know any experience on that you're gonna say yeah I, I know about ticketing system I can use that most of the company uses that in IT oh you know this stuff great because that kind of stuff usually you don't see that in certifications that much right so this is where the real world training is way more effective when it comes to really landing a job or performing well at the job, stress management, lowering that down. Of course, it's going to always be the experience or the technical skills that's going to hold more weight personally at your level. So if you look at, you're looking at this, to be honest, if you knew this information, if you knew the courses, if somebody have taught you this stuff, by looking at this position, this is a piece of cake kind of position because you're just, there's too much openness that they're they're giving you right now so anybody could apply to this position with that kind of knowledge and, and you know and, and get it done so here you we put that no i'm not ready for this job so that's totally of course you just need to go and start the courses you can start it on with anybody i mean i'm not just promoting jobs cashier or here jobs cashier is somewhere we feel like we have done so much hard work to to fix this issue but people may not agree with us you know there are a lot of people that they just don't take our courses and think or they will not invest that kind of time and may have a different suggestion so try that but use common sense when you guys make your decisions yes i'm very confident about this job and the requirements i'm looking at this and i'm very confident of course you're ready i mean if you if you're saying that i'm confident i'm looking at this stuff i know what, what this is asking me all the basic stuff i know about computers i know about troubleshooting i know if somebody called me about the web browser can i troubleshoot that if somebody called me about windows 10 issue it's slow can i fix it um, um, maybe there are 50 computers I need to do some type of backup or images can I do that right so this would be you are going to be in this position where you say I'm very confident even if you think I can perform 40% of given requirements you're still ready for this job this is amazing part of this career that a lot of people think that I need to finish everything I need to finish a plus I need to finish network plus I need to finish this I need to finish that you know they think that they need to finish every single thing before they apply to this position you don't need to if you can do 40 percent of this stuff even this stuff even at the basic level you're still good to go and apply to this position like i said many many times please remember that people can give you a job just by you showing up over there and showing your passion because this type of position someone can say hmm you know what you came to us you seems to really need this job you seems to love technology you know what forget about it oh we got a program I know the education side of it will do that but that type of uh, attitude is going down reason for that is very simple people are getting busy day by day technology is getting mixed up hybrid day by day not many people are going to give you that kind of offer these days and people are coming to technology day by day so of course people are going to start looking at skills or people who are a little bit more than just saying I am very passionate about IT career let me just get that job right that's that's get that's dying out right now let's go to the second position right now it says entry level IT position so here says option one will you apply to this position right here IT help this specialist look at this IT help this specialist exactly what I talked about a few minutes ago this is uh, basically the IT help this specialist responsible for assisting the IT manager to ensure the smooth operation of computer systems peripherals within limits of requirements specification cost blah 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 and basically this look at this the position is 50 percent hands break fix implement 50 percent troubleshooting and user issues so even if you knew the 50 percent of one side pretty good the rest if you didn't know too much that's fine with this position look at this experience they put straight one to two years of experience now remember this is another very confusing part in IT when people put one to two years of experience and they don't give you any other or or just like the first position. Then you as a new person think that, okay, now nah, this is totally about experience. Well, that's still not true. We have shown 
40,000 people in our platform, we have so many people come to us and they say that they had two years, three years experience on their description, still they got the job. The reason for getting their job is when they talk about these responsibilities and they can explain that to people that I have learned this stuff somewhere, right? Not a lot of people have courses, not a lot of content creators are doing this type of content creation. They are focusing a lot on A+, they're focusing a lot on passing that exam. So you need to take this this test or that, that test, do this simulation or that simulation. So a lot of people have these certifications, still cannot even apply to these positions. They're not even confident to go and see these things. Oh, what are these things? This, this, most of these things are really not in A+, so what do I do over here? So when you come to the real world courses, usually you cover 40 to 50 to 60% and even 70% sometime, all of these stuff right here. So then it gives you a lot of confidence. So even if you go to this position, it says one to two years of experience, you're still confident enough to talk about it or tell someone, even though I don't have that kind of experience, the hands-on experience, I went to some school or some training or some online training that actually I learned some real world skills and I'm very confident that I can do these things. Now, you see, now you, you made a little twist in here. So they may get a college student and still apply to this position. And a college student will go up against, let's say, someone who knows this stuff. Of course, the college students will not be successful getting this job in most cases. Unless this person have a great personality and somehow they also have a culture of teaching, then it works. But that's very slim, right? They're looking for someone who can perform this job. They don't want to sit, let's say somebody don't want to sit down with you or give you the resources or spend that kind of time to teach you everything from scratch. Like, for example, knowing about domain controllers or Active Directory, how does it work? Because if you know that knowledge, and of course, I'm not going to teach you much, I just need to teach you my own applications. So this is where your real world skills learning is going to play a big role. Of course, you can go to our site, learn this, you can go to our YouTube channel, Take that 13 hours long course for free, Jobs Could Share, just type Jobs Could Share, IT skills training, and you're going to find that. So many different type of uh, you know uh, ways to learn this. You can spin up your own virtual box, learn these, but then of course you're going to need to know what to learn. You know That's another uh, problem we're going to discuss later on. But this is where, of course, it means nothing to us when you are learning skills. IT specialists, you still apply. So you see how you can look at the description and say, oh, you know what, I can really, really get, get this job. And that's how people are doing it. So again, the same thing. Are you 40% sure? Go apply. Are you very confident? Then I think you are just you just need to go apply aggressively if you're not getting a response. Of course, that uh, is going to be up to your resume and all that kind of stuff. You should really join our Discord communities for that. We have a Discord community, by the way. I'll share the link in this description. Join that. Share your resume. Share all the, you know, learn from the interview questions. Other professionals. We have so many good professionals like KevTech. So many other people are in there. Uh, Steven IT support, IT essential members, so many people are talking to each other. So you really need to get involved with these people to understand, um, you know, uh, this stuff. No, I'm re not ready for this job, of course. And if you're not ready and you're not confident, you really need to go back and uh, get your study thing going. So at least you can do 30% to 40%, get confident and then apply. The last one is, of course, look at this now. This is the funny one. Help this specialist. So now they're calling you help this specialist. At the same time, they're saying you're level one. Now, this is where people go crazy. I, am I the specialist or is it a level one job? Should I apply because it's a specialist? But why is it saying level one? Is there a specialist level one? Is there going to be a help the specialist level two, level three? I mean, that's this is what we are talking about. This is why this type of titling makes no sense when it comes to support. So don't even bother spending too much time reading titles. If it says support, computer support, technician, IT, hub desk, tier one, tier two, at least tier two level, you can go apply. Uh, tier two is going to be a hard one, but still, I mean, you should apply. I mean, the worst thing, they're gonna not going to call you, right? But you did apply, right? So here you go. You got some same thing, you know, um, end users. Everybody's talking about end users. So you're, you're going to basically have essential duties, the same thing, Outlook, problems, LAN connections, uh, looking at stuff like that, software, peripherals, yeah, same stuff, nothing wrong with this stuff too. Look at this position requirement. Uh, look at this right here, associate degree or equivalent two years or technical school, minimum of two years of help desk experience. People put minimum in there again. Now, this is a good one too, because if somebody put minimum, 
this company of course not every company is going to be open like that let's 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 be realistic over here too what if this company a person just left the job this was an experienced person they have some very important clients they don't want to take a risk with a new person they need someone with experience then of course they, this company is looking for an experienced person you apply to this position anyway you may get a call you may get interview questions from them you may get some suggestions some tips whatever it is to gain from that interview you're going to get it from it so the biggest thing you can gain from this type of uh, descriptions and jobs is confidence so this is going to be my last description right here and this i hope this clears this description craziness description uh skills requirement craziness years of experience requirement all kind of stuff some are true some are not true but apply to positions and find out because most of this is just basic stuff and like i said if they say minimum or must or something like that still apply to it the last thing that can happen is that they won't call you you know how human works you got to be strong if they don't call you they don't call you you move on and apply to 200 more positions 300 positions i don't care how many hundreds you go you need to apply till you get the job thank you so much and i'll see you in in our different uh you know section of another uh, where uh, you know we're facing issues in this career job readiness or career development i hope you guys are liking this video if you do please send a comment like this video if you can, subscribe and uh, share your knowledge. Thank you.